My name is Marian Villanueva, Marian Maceda Villanueva. My husband was Antonio uh, Villanueva, or Johnny for short. And we had been married uh, 46 years. We grew up together because we got married very young. I was 21 and he was 23. We have two daughters. We came to Canada in uh, 1986. So it was hard when my husband, when Johnny came down with Alzheimer's at a very young age. He started it, I think, when he was around 57 or 58 years old. That was the beginning of, of uh, our, our story of uh, Alzheimer's. We both had good careers. Uh, in fact, we were in the Philippines. There was something going on with Johnny that I didn't recognize. I think the challenge for me at the time was identifying what the problem was. I was very observant. I, I knew my husband and I, I knew something was wrong. Diagnosing the problem, I think, was one of the first uh, challenges that we had to face. We came back to Canada. We got seen by uh, GPs and finally he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Early onset Alzheimer's, he had it. So at 60, he was diagnosed with, with the disease. The second challenge is once you know what the problem is, you w will need to find as many resources because you can't, you won't be able to handle it alone. You're watching what happens to him and how he's slowly um, becoming a person that you no longer remember from, from uh, who you married. He was always so full of jokes, and ako yung mas I didn't know what to what to expect next. So really, reaching out to to um, professional resources as well as other people like me who were fellow caregivers, you could compare notes and you could learn from each other, because really it's difficult. At first, I was a little bit embarrassed or a little bit uh, shy. He had a hard time saying, ah, may, may Alzheimer's ako or may sakit ako. Because he, he was also, I could tell, he was a little bit ashamed of it too. So our relationship changed because no longer was I um, a spouse, but I became a caregiver. He was a take charge kind of guy. He was very... Uh, caring. He was a civil engineer. He was very much a handyman. Biglang wala na yung ganon, so I I needed to find a new way of managing uh, our family. And I'm sure he had a hard time accepting it because there were times that he became emotional too and said, "Why is this happening to me?" And so we needed to deal with it together. I uh, used to do a lot of volunteer work or community work and both of us also like we had a lot of friends and, and uh, liked going out into the community and to church or, or community events um, and slowly we needed to withdraw from that because no longer could he recognize people. I learned how to be much more patient than I ever was. I needed to treat him more like like a child because no longer um, could he do things on his own. I learned how to ask for help from from more people because I, I knew I couldn't do it alone. We're very proud people. I'm also very proud and so was Johnny. So we needed to be more, admit that we were more vulnerable and that we needed, uh, we needed help, we needed community. When he was diagnosed, with, with uh, um, Alzheimer's, and he was 60, he had just turned 60. We were in Toronto at the time, and I immediately reached out to the Alzheimer's Society of Toronto. So I went to many of their, their uh, courses, and this was all um, in person. I got the job in Ottawa, so I came back to Ottawa, and the first thing I did was connect with the Dementia Society of uh, Ottawa and Renfrew. By attending the course, they had people, they had doctors 
who were doing research on different medicines that were up and coming and 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 uh, trials that that they were uh, they were experimenting with. So if you wanted to be belong to to join in with some of that, you could. I also found out about uh, geriatric psychiatrists that were available. I uh, was very active in the dementia society. I I had a, a counselor assigned to me. The Champlain Health Line. At the time, it was called the Lynn Champlain Lynn Local Health Integration Network. Through them, I found out that there were adult courses that were available for for uh, people with dementia or Alzheimer's. We had the Good Companion. We had the Pearly. They offered many things from exercise to dancing to singing to uh, just interacting with each other. After being there two or three months, they said we can no longer handle him because he was becoming more difficult. They could not, they only had a limited number of uh, staff looking after the group. He was beginning to to hallucinate, he was talking to the TV, he was talking to himself in the mirror. With the medicine, it would calm him down uh, and it would be easier for us to, to handle. And again, it was a trial and error because I also was worried about what the side effects might be. You mga kababayan natin or, or other immigrants who don't have the skill or the ability to use the internet well or are, are shy about making phone calls or asking the right questions, mahirap. And that's why it's important that uh, the Filipino community helps each other. How the government can help is making sure word is out there about what the resources are. Having community outreach uh, steps or, or partners or groups that you can work through work wonders. We're finding out that it's it's starting earlier uh, than it has been in the past because people are reporting it more or people are, people are identifying it earlier. If you had activities that were catered to the younger male and female population, I think that would be a big help. If the government had services that would offer uh, getting the, the patients around um, that would be a big help. I was able to cope with, I hired a live-in caregiver that was so vital to my being able to continue to work and to have a life because I still had was working and didn't have any health issues, but needed to care for him. The Champlain Lynn offered to us and knowing when he should be put in a long-term care facility or some kind of place like that really helps. At the beginning, I felt very much alone. And even if we had a lot of friends, I felt the friends didn't know how to help. Just coming over to visit, to say hi and hang out, made such a big difference. I'm grateful that we had that kind of, I, I had that kind of relationship with such, such a person a good person um, and I hope he's okay doing okay up there <laughs>